hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding jumping to our game okay so let's go ahead and do it first of all we need to create a button for it so let me click on player actions and let's just go ahead and create all of the action buttons which are required for this game okay so that so that we don't have to do it again and again right here so the next action button will be for the shoot so i'm gonna just duplicate that one and name this as shoot okay i'm gonna remove the button east and shift and i'm gonna add another binding and this time the shoot will be the mouse uh, left button so mouse where is it search for left okay here it is left button mouse okay after the shoot we will duplicate it and this time name it this one as scope and the scope button will be our mouse right button so right mouse button all right then we have the reload button so let me change this to reload and in here select the r keyboard key okay after the reload we have the crouch button okay so you can name this as c if you want or crouch or whatever you want and just select c keyboard key duplicate it again name this as jump okay and for the jump we will use the space keyboard key for the joystick or your controller you can select whatever key you want for the jump okay then for the pause uh, I think we don't have a pause game button in here because this is a multiplayer game so we will not be adding that okay I think that is it we can now close it and then save it and then let's add jumping so open up the input manager script and in the input button flag create a pool by the name of jump input then you can scroll down and let's read its value so I'm just gonna copy this line which is by which is the sprint performed and paste it and instead of sprint we will type jump dot performed equals to sprint input instead of sprint input we will call the bool which is jump input and set it to true okay and we don't want this button uh, to be like the sprint button in which we have to hold it we just want that when we press the jump button once it should perform a jump okay so now in order to do that we will create a numerator type method by the name of handle jump and first of all right in here we will wait for 0 0.2 seconds and then we will save the jump input is true then set it to false that is all we have to do then in the handle all inputs let's just call this method and since it is a enumerator type method you need to type start coroutine and then handle jump input okay it is uh, it should be handle jump input okay handle jump input now once we have this let's now click on player movement and in a player movement script right after the rotation speed let's add a float by the name of jump force set it to 5 then after this we need to create a movement flag I mean we need to create a flag for checking if the player is on the ground and if the player is on the ground then in that case only we will jump okay so we will say public bool is grounded then in order to check that if the player is on the ground we will have to check the player feed that if that is touching the ground and in order to check it we need to add gravity okay uh, rigid body comes with a built-in gravity but 
now since we are adding jumping and we are checking if the player is on the ground or not we have to add this and uh, of course we will have to add our own falling speed so that's why so the fall speed should be 5 okay and then if we move down right here we will say apply gravity this will be the method name in which we will check that if the player is not grounded and if it's not create a vector 3 by the name of current velocity it shall be equals to player rigid body dot velocity okay and the current velocity dot y will be plus equals to the gravity multiply by the fall speed multiply by time dot delta time and then player rigid body dot velocity will be equals to the current velocity okay once we have this then let's check that if the player is colliding with the ground or not so for that create a on collision stay method Okay, name this from other to collision and in here we will say that if the player is grounded uh, I mean we will set these grounded bool to true and that's it and then create one more method uh, which is on collision exit name this as collision and right here set the is grounded to false then let's now add jumping so that we can move the player up in the sky okay name this method as handle jump input okay let's just name it as handle jump just handle jump We will check that if input manager dot jump input is true and is grounded is true as well then in that case if the player is uh, on ground then in that case we will only jump so in order to jump we will say player rigid body dot add force vector 3 dot up we want to move in the upward direction by the jump force and that force mode should be impulse okay and right here you can play animation if you want but i will not be playing animation since in the introductory video we don't have any animation for jumping all right and i will suggest that you guys also don't add that okay just set the is grounded to false right here and that is it then you can just scroll up and in here you can call the apply gravity method okay and then add a update method right here actually let me for now remove it and let's call the handle jump method right here as well now if you go ahead and check it out make sure that you make the jump force 10 okay if you leave the jump input method in there and test it out you will notice that the player will not jump okay as you can see and let me show you why because we call the handle jump in the handle all movement and as you know that handle all movement is called in this late update okay and this handle jump should be called in an update method okay which recall every second or you can say which execute every second so that's why we we will remove it from there and add it inside the update method right here okay and when you do that you can just go ahead and play the game and you will notice that now the player can jump as you can see 
Okay, the player can jump perfectly fine. Alright, so after jumping, we will need to add crouching to our game. So in the next video, we will do that. See you guys in the next one.